Uber Ragnarsson. You are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the All Father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield if the fates are kind. Want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Alfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. targets. You look well today, Eivor. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randri, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. May I see your store? You 
done? I must take my... Fair. What have you got? We got to find a new home for these. You should buy that. Yes, great purchase. Is I'm all. All. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Man, fire. 
of battle.
surveying the area, Sudan. Every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Alf Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Careful round! Watch your backs! Pects. They won't. the way and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? I'll live. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way we claim victory! friend once again i've done ragnarson we met in the forge of battle surely a good sign i don't know you one of Faroid's new dogs i am eivor of the raven clan eivor yes down in mercia kingmaker with my brothers ivar and uba and finir in east anglia from the tales i hear i feared you might be taller that's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not 
Not here. Not now. Then to Donna Castor for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Start digging. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? Sneaky lots, masters of guile and ambush. Picts are a sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Hi. This is available for purchase. I can use this. Is this the one you want? Nothing more? I'm all. Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, 
And I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? Edgbertini, We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow king? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Aftan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Lucia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Avdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I held them half the name, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine couplets are for Roman meals. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. show you a wonder. Oh. 
all this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something.
Sing us a song. Feel great.
Hey, come here a moment.
Thanks, Sable. Okay, scum. Sail out! Hey, Let me sail in. What's the meaning of this? Show me. That must be Fadovic's camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in, Gunungag, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Fadovic! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow! Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fadavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. 
My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. No. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton, killed for Hafton, bled for Hafton, and he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious? He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! Yeah! Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Dona Castle. More mead, fewer pigs. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The pigs are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Sneaky lot. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Thor, we made it. That was good war work, all. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who tried to slip away.
places. Should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway. They spotted us. Run forward. Run. Faster! Faster! Ultra! Ultra! Glory for Ultra! Like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Must be careful now. Now, to hunt down the peg chief.
your corpse. to join you.
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are at Markness. This map spells it out. Ah, the Wolfkist is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. You won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Halfton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. If I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Hafton. Good! Good! Victory is ours. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Like his cock, eh?
one more, and only because you all... I would like to see what... That be all? I have to go. May I see your story? Done. I must take my farewell, Eivor. to a hidden god. The guardian of this temple was a proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. And this protector had a wife, a scholar, who spent her days reading in... You and Petra, eh? Couldn't ask for a better match for my sister. You treat her well. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. What have you got for me today? Uh, nothing else. I brought something for you. Done for now. I will. Until next time. Eivor, darling, how nice to see you. What about we spend a bit of time? Just you and me. I like how you think. Come over here.
Saber. Welcome. Thank you for selling to me. I have those if you want them. Smart purchase. Anything else? from rattling skulls, rattle these bones instead. Slow sips, Halfton. It helps the brew. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. Her soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. 
Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asks for my silence, but Halfton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Faravid's side, and I found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We're to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donnecaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donnecaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bianton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. See Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. not here. This letter came from Weka. She must have gone there. I should go to Weka. Find Moira. Yeah, 
to the waves. Run up, the sail! Strike up a tune. Village. Moira's house must be near. This ruckus. Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Can't. Need to get on the other side. Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus. E ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it'll be the last thing you see. Moira, you're safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times, I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadowsweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. 
I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Show me what lies ahead. Often, good to find you here. The Raven Feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. He could be spying from above. Olav? Speak to us! Where are you? Stretch your wings soon. about this lap, my friend. He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. Found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may track his attackers. Get them, boy. Good boy. Follow their trail. the ground with their blood!
Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Hold on, we'll find a way through. Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? 
Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh. Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Need to be careful here.
Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity, so I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, I, I find it hot in these furs. The, the day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringo. Press him, Eivor! As hard as you can! Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise! Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Rat. Words are poison. It 